So alternative to practical planning experiment questions. Today we'll do a question related to the rate of heating. So the question is plan and investigate plan a student is investigating whether using a lid reduces the time taken to heat a beaker of water to a boiling point. A student has the following apparatus available, a uh, thermometer, 250 cm cube glass beaker, 250 cm cube measuring cylinder, heat proof mat is there, there is a lid to fit the beaker, and uh, clam boss 10. Plan an experiment to investigate whether using a lid reduces the heating time. You should list additional apparatus that you would require and how would you carry out the investigation, the key variables and draw the table with a column heading, how you display your result and how would you use your reading to conclude. So as I mentioned, whenever you're planning experiments, especially in physics, you try to answer each point separately. Okay, so we'll take these bullet points and we'll try to answer each of them separately. First, list the additional apparatus that you would require. What else we need in this experiment? Anything which is missing from the given list? We have thermometer, we have uh, glass beaker, imaging cylinder, heat proof mat, lid is there, clamp boss stand. What else we need? You can use your mic, you can also use chat as well. Yes, Imat. Uh, a Bunsen burner. A Bunsen burner, good. So we need a Bunsen burner. What else? I prefer that you use my, so it saves time instead of your time, all our typing. Uh, those who mentioned stopwatch, that's correct as well. So we need a Bunsen burner and we need a stopwatch. Or you can also mention heater, electrical heater. Um, to heat the water or Bunsen burner is also fine. Explain briefly how would you carry out this uh, the investigation, like the procedure. So how we do this experiment, how to perform this experiment. So because we are investigating how the lid affect the rate of cooling. So we have two types of containers available. We have a measuring we have a measuring cylinder and we have a beaker, but we are not supposed to change them during the experiment. Throughout the experiment, we should keep one container because what we are investigating, we are investigating how the rate of the, like how, how much, how the lid effect, the time taken by water to reach its boiling point. So we are not supposed to change the container throughout the experiment. So if you start your experiment with a beaker, then you should mention continue with a beaker throughout the experiment. Or if you start with your, your experiment with a measuring cylinder, then continue with measuring cylinder throughout the experiment. So as we are investigating how we are investigating how the lid can affect the time taken by a water to reach its boiling point. The so first thing, example, we'll fill the 250 cm cube beaker. It's not like uh, you should completely fill it with water. With 100 cm cube, like we just, it is the maximum capacity is 250 cm cube, but we fill it with 100 cm cube of water. Then what we will do? We'll record its initial temperature. By thermometer. After recording the initial temperature by thermometer. What we will do. Uh, we will heat. And start the timer. And we will record the time uh, 
for water to reach its boiling point, which is for, for a pure water, which is 100. So we'll record the time for a water to reach its boiling point, like how much time the water will take to reach its boiling point. Then what we have to do, we will repeat the experiment with lit and repeat the experiment three times or thrice. Minimum you should mention, repeat the experiment thrice. There's a minimum number. So repeat the experiment thrice and take average results. And whenever you're doing this experiment, because you, you want to measure the temperature of the water, so the precaution which you should take, uh, the thermometer should not touch the base or the walls of the container. That is one precaution for this experiment. And so with a procedure, better write the precautionary measure you will take. So the precautions which we will take, uh, reset stopwatch, the thermometer, should not touch the base or the walls of the container. And uh, avoid parallax error, look perpendicular. So these are the precautionary measures always mentioned. So list an additional apparatus, what we need because we are investigating how much time the thermo, uh, the water will take to reach its boiling point. So we, the precaution, uh, the apparatus, it was a stopwatch. Heat source is also correct, but mainly it's a stopwatch. And then we did state key variable that you would control. Like we are doing an experiment. We are finding how much time the water will take to reach its boiling point and how it is affected by lid. That is what we are investigating, okay? What are the key variables we should keep constant for a fair comparison? You can use mic, you can use chat. What are the key variables for a fair comparison? So the key variable, yeah, that's right. The first one is the amount of the water. The quantity or the amount of the water which we are taking or volume of the water. So the key variables we should control for this experiment, we are answering this part. Initial temperature of the water, temperature of surrounding good. What else? Initial temperature, temperature of the surrounding, the volume of the water which we use for this experiment should be constant. Yeah, good. That's also right. The rate or the amount of heat supplied, like the rate of heat supplied should be constant. Or the type of the heat source should be same. Because it is variable, a plural is there. So minimum, you should write to maximum, it can be any number. Then draw a table with a column heading to show how would you Display your readings. You're not required to enter any reading. Like you are not supposed to write anything. The initial temperature.
and it can be table or tables. So one we are doing with lit, like we have initial temperature is there. Whenever we say table with a column heading, so it should be like if you're representing a temperature that is T and the unit is degree centigrade. That is a starting temperature or the initial temperature. And then it reaches a boiling temperature. The final temperature will be 100. So we don't have to mention that. And one is with lit, another one is without lit. So this experiment we are doing without, the first one is done without and the other one is done with lit. And this is a T is a time in seconds or it, in, in minutes. You can write it, as a unit is second, that's why we usually you end stopwatch also. Uh, it, it give a time in minutes and second, but the SI unit is second, that's why we mentioned second. So this T is the initial temperature with lit and without lit and small t is the time it will take to reach its boiling point. That's how we represent. Then how would you use your readings to conclude? Like how we reach our conclusion. So whenever, in this case, we have a fixed parameter. We have with lid and without lid. So what we can do, which type of gra graph is suitable because sometimes you have uh, bar charts are there or pie charts are there, bar graphs are there. So in this case, we the bar graph is more uh, like appropriate. Why? Because what you will have on x-axis, you will have the two parameters. One is with lid and another one is without lid. Or in y-axis, you will have the time axis. So you can mention plot a bar chart or bar graph between the time and the parameter with lit and without lit. Without lit, it is obvious it will take longer time because uh, there will be heat loss to the surrounding. With lit, it will take short time. So one will be with lit, another one is without lit. That's how we uh, explain how would you use your readings to conclude, like how we reach a conclusion. So we can plot a graph and compare the time, the one which Compare the time interval for water to reach its boiling point with and without lid. In the question, they mention a diagram is not required, but you may draw a diagram. So whenever option is given, you may, then you should draw a diagram. Reason why you should draw a diagram? Because sometimes your explanation may not be complete. So your diagram score the that mark. So I advise whenever you are planning experiment, always draw a diagram, even though it's an optional. Is it uh, clear this uh, experiment? 